Today is the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time, Cycle B. Who is this Jesus in the Gospel? He teaches with authority and not like the scribes. Sometime in your life, you shall encounter a teacher who will seem extraordinarily knowledgeable of the subject he or she teaches and will give you insights into a subject you never even considered. Hopefully, he or she will make such an impression in your life, you will always remember that person and some of his her remarkable teachings. Jesus should be such a teacher for you. We are called to meditate on some of his words, like, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the good shepherd. I am the bread of life. I am the resurrection and the life. We should also look at some of the words of the apostles, like Peter. Lord, you alone have the words of everlasting life. Only in silence and meditation, as we ponder the words of God, we shall be able to experience his awe and wonder and his love for us. So let us pause for a moment and reflect on one of his Phrases. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the good shepherd. I am the bread of life. I am the resurrection and the life. Love changes everything. When we love, communal, not romantic, the welfare of the other, of another, is always more important than our personal interests. Love permits us to make sacrifices for we shall care more for others than for our own welfare and security. Love is measured by what we do and not what we say. The song from the musical My Fair Lady says, If you love me, show me. If God asks you as he had asked Peter, Do you love me? Would your answer be like Peter who said, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus would then say to you, Ten, care for my sheep. Are you willing to follow Jesus' request? Jesus also told us, remember whatever you do for the least of my brethren, you do for me. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 15 says, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. To harden your hearts means to disobey God by rebellion to his teachings. When the tribes of Israel were a loose association, not every tribe responded 
to a call from another tribe for help, as it should have been. However, once they were unified under king, the kingdoms of Saul, David, and Solomon were strong, powerful, and effective. The United States of America is a powerful nation which can do so much good in the world when the people are united. To be strong, powerful, and effective, we have to be united. In whatever circumstances where there is much to be done, if everyone cooperates, the task becomes easy. Individual parishes cannot effectively train priests, create a curriculum, and provide guidance for a quality Catholic education, and help the poor and the marginalized, especially in the areas of respect life and human trafficking. We have a local shepherd, Archbishop Thomas Wensky, who needs our help, who has a better understanding of the Catholic community in South Florida and its most urgent needs. He has been appointed with the help of the Holy Spirit to lead us. He needs your help our help, and will explain how he plans to use the resources we give him. The Archbishop's charity drive will need a substantial commitment from you to do the work of God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. When we are generous, we are blessed many times more than what we give. We have to trust God. In the old, the old way never works. The old way is when we have financial troubles, we ask God to help us with a large sum of money, like the lottery, and we will promise to give God a very small, tiny percent. One, two percent, three percent. This way also tells us that we do not trust God. Why should I give when I am not sure that I will receive anything back? The suggested donation for the upcoming ABCD is a dollar a day, and since 2024 is a leap year, the amount will be $366. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. We are the hands of feet of Christ. For some, we're only Christ they will ever know. When we're generous, we are blessed many times more than what we give. Please be generous to the ABCD, which is coming up soon. <laughs> 